Guys, I got here a uh, Elmo Reisel 5 horsepower vacuum pump. So there's your motor. And here's the vacuum pump part. And it's got a coupling in between, like these teeth on both sides with a rubber, rubber insert. But that coupling kept cracking because when the uh, starter kicked on, uh, it was a like full force voltage, all 480 volts at once. And over the course of a year or so, it kept cracking the coupling. So my first thought is just to increase the tank volume. There I, I got the original 30 gallon tank and I tossed in another 60 gallons. But then it occurred to me to upgrade the starter. So here's what we got for the starter. So I put myself a little Japanese SMC vacuum sensor switch there. But there's the secret of the show. It's a Siemens Sirius uh, soft starter. You see all those potentiometers on the front? Ultimately that lets you set uh, how many seconds you want to take to gradually apply the voltage to to apply it to your motor so you're not throwing it throwing full torque at it at the very beginning. Now the parts of this circuit that I had to add on was well this little fella here, the SMC vacuum gauge required a 12 through 24 volt power supply so here you go it's got the two lines from the three phase that you only needed two out of the three to turn the 480 volts here attached into 24 volts. Now that sends out a wee bit of a signal when you want when you want your uh, motor to come on which goes to this little solid state relay which then um, connects the switch it connects uh, 120 volt AC so this particular serious motor starter needs an operating voltage of 120 volts AC so there's the little transformer fuses and all you got your 480 on the 10 sides and then the 120 coming out to provide a small amount of amperage to drive this right here so you got uh, the two from left you got these two inputs to power your Sirius and then the third input is 120 volt AC so when that's present on that third input uh, in between this and the very first one you get this activated to turn on so there's an, in, uh, in TOR or millimeters of mercury there's 740 millimeters of mercury to the negative of atmospheric which is not bad since I think it goes down to about 760 so that's only 20 cores away from complete vacuum well let's let some air out to turn this thing on give myself a trickle there. You can watch the gauges happening over here. So oh, there you go, vacuum is dropping fast. And there's a hysteresis of 50. The nice thing you can do about this SMC gauge is it changes color. You can set it to change color. Now that's gonna probably going to need to adjust that for real time use. So when it's in the measuring mode you just have to hit the center button and one stamp for it's in the negative mode so 
There's a negative mode like for refrigeration and a positive mode like for heating. So when you're creating a vacuum, it'd be negative mode, but uh, let me drop that number a little bit closer to the atmospheric. I'll try 600. Uh, 600. Well, 620. Kind of close to 420, but we need 620. We need a powerful setup here. And, uh, okay, let's set that. That's going to take a while to activate it again. Let me, um, okay, if you want to go to setting mode on this, you press the center button and hold it. F0 is the first function. We're going to go, I think we want F1. No, wrong direction. Let's try that. So, hysteresis. All right, yeah, we want to choose hysteresis. That means, and um, I think that means negative. We choose the next setting, N1, minus 620, okay. Hysteresis, I got it 50, 51, whatever. And then you can do the color. I got SOR. I guess that means when it's operating, it turns red. That's good enough. All right, we're done with that form. So I'll press twice to hold it again. All right, I'll just set up a small leak so we can see this cycle a couple times. Well, let's get fancy here. All right, so a small leak, let's watch what happens. Yep, our number's dropping. I think we set it to 620. Let's see if it kicks in at 620. Now this vacuum gauge is connected through this uh, copper at 1 8 inch tubing, so that goes up and inside the box here. The sense the actual, okay, 620. I didn't know if you heard that, but you could tell the motor was gradually started. Not under full power. So 620 and then the 50 history says, so 620 plus 50 is up there around 670. Um, so there you go, it's cycling, creating a reasonable vacuum, it's not the ultra. One final note, you see that? silvery bullet shaped thing. Well, that's a 100K resistor. Alright, uh, the motor just came on and the second light is when it's all done starting the motor. And there you go, it went off. So what that actually does is, once it's done starting the motor, there's like switches inside that basically bypass the thigh wristers which are used to so it uh, right there you for a second there you could see it flashing that means it's probably means it's so for a second there it was flashing which I think that means it's in the process of doing its startup let me see if I can read some of these things. This, this camera may not be focusing very well. But you have a bunch of choices here about... One of them is the motor... One of them is the motor current. I'm not sure which one. Another one is the time you want to take to start it. And another one is the initial percentage of full volt voltage when it first tries to start it. So there's your 480 coming in, those three uh, yellow, blue, yellow, red, and brown wires. Then out the bottom you got your yellow, red, and brown. 
go into your motor. All right, then I'm gonna to try to do something about the cycle time on this. It's, I'm gonna increase the hysteresis to, let's say, 100. So let's go to F1, hit out one. Okay, hysteresis. Let's increase that to uh, 100. Uh, 80 is a nice round. That's 88. 90. Close enough, so color keep the same. And we're done with F1, so let's press this for two seconds to get back to the mode. Alright, so let's double see what we had this set to. 620, right? Yeah. Now let's drop that to 600. So that our hysteresis has been increased to 80, okay. So what we want to do is give a reasonable cycle time on that motor because this, uh, this thing has its own ratings about getting warmed up if it does too many starts per hour. Um, so let's see if I can. I don't want to reach. Well, okay, I'm going to turn that off. I want to see if I can feel some heat back there. Nope, we're not stressing it out yet. Alright, thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen, soft starter, SMC, vacuum reader, switch.